uh, my companion is getting a hat, while he's getting a hat, uh, I will tell you that uh, I want to make a video because I'm this, this much closer to becoming a published author, an ebook first up on Amazon. It's only going to cost a dollar, a dollar so According to my son, I don't think that he'll let me charge any more than that because he believes that. And I, I only, uh, I know mostly poor people, so I agreed that a dollar would be a good price to get people to, hey, not that hat. <laughs> Your veto. This is. <laughs> I'm the author about to be published. You bought this hat for me. Uh, he does, he is a semi-famous person, though, uh, which we will discuss when he sits down. But anyway, uh, he had the, the very important job of taking the official photograph of me for the back of the book. The front of the book, I'm only four years old in the photograph. Uh, and... I wasn't born in the when back of the book. Old. I'm supposed to be 80 something, but he was supposed to make me look as good as he could possibly possibly do. And I'm I'm pleased to report that he did take a picture of me that uh, I thought was pretty good, about as good as as I can get. And I sent it to my son, who is doing designing the cover and the back cover and doing the, well, that kind of work. And I don't know, he hasn't said whether he approves of this picture, oh, but is, is we'll it, find out. Is this head Would you okay? please set down, is, is this sir? Is okay? Uh, oh yeah, it's oh. great. <laughs> Uh, I want to tell you that he is semi-famous because he's probably one of the few people that you will meet at the moment who actually was born and raised in Ferguson, Jesus. Missouri. Oh. I think that qualifies to make me an expert on Ferguson, and I don't know about him. He... Uh, he left Ferguson 20 years ago. Oh, well, we can see this one's not going to make it to YouTube for sure. <laughs> oh, well, it will because you're from Ferguson for heaven's sake. I mean, we've got to make a video before yeah, yeah, Ferguson so, oh, falls out of the headlines. You don't even know what happened last night. And he's a nobody again. Night. You don't even know what happened last night. Well, I heard the National Guard is now there. Well, when you heard it. <laughs> And I don't know where it'll all end. I mean, if it's for... I'm pretty sure the Marines... <laughs> the Marines. Marines will be coming in. And then there's... The like, Air Force <laughs> will be overhead. That's <laughs> true. No, we, have a, uh, we have several bases, you know, that... Uh, there is a base mm -hmm. out in... Uh, I'm not going to tell you where it is in Missouri, but... Uh, you know those stealth bombers? Oh. Uh. It's a stealth bomber base, and it's the west of St. Louis, but I'm pretty sure they're on alert, you know, like, well, if you come over and raise up a few bombs and uh, first, and well, I'm going, uh, you know. This morning I uh, hear that drones are not going to be loud anymore over the parks, but how about Ferguson? Drones may uh, be used, you know, <laughs> eventually to calm, to well, calm. Well, we're not talking about military, <laughs> we're talking about the ones that are like this with little cameras. On. Oh, oh. Oh, what do you think they're talking about? No. Hello. <laughs> yes, we're, well, we're, we're out here why, in, in why Yellowstone, are they we're at Yellowstone Park, you know. Come on. Why kids. are they banning them come from on, parks? Come on, kids. Come on over to the parks. Uh, parks thrive, uh, you know. The, oh, you know, no. Run See, the one of the reasons is, is, is because okay? these things invade your privacy. Oh, 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 okay. Oh, that's it. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, he watches the news. I don't. I mean, he, he allows me to watch a little tiny bit when I come down here. Allow you. Uh, he'll I'll let watch you two watch. television sets. And then Your he'll say, one. that's enough. I have watched it since 530. Well, I didn't because 
then he tells me, uh, well, too bad. And so uh, he's, he's the only source I have to get the news on TV because I don't have a TV. Whose fault and, is uh, that? Mine. Well, I had to make I a gave decision. You two. Your I daughter could gave not, you one. Uh, do internet, do all the writing I do, and my eyes were giving out, so something had to go, and that was TV. <laughs> and even that, you know, even that is, you know, I can easily get eye strain if I spend too much time on the internet. I do still access the internet and social networking and all of those things, so I, ha I don't think I'm so far out to get, he thinks that I'm Missed, I'm missing very important stuff by not having a TV. He's always telling me. I didn't say that. I, I said... saw this on TV. And he's always still trying to get me to go to the hearing doctor. Mm, well, I, I'm beginning to, you know, people. You know, I'm going to be famous and I'm not going to wear, I promise you, I will not come out here in Ray-Bans. <laughs> <laughs> we know he's from Ferguson, so oh, I'd geez, excuse him. He doesn't want anybody to recognize him. That's yeah, <laughs> it. an enemy of the people. It's true. I, I don't get yeah. <laughs> Let's see, I left there in 93. And ever since then, it's been going downhill, you know. I mean, I just don't know what these people are doing. You know? uh, oh, is that, your, is that your opinion or... Uh, well, no, that's my excuse, okay? Oh, oh excuse for Ferguson. <laughs> Why do you think I left there for quite a while? Now he's living in the Westward Ho. I we all know that, yeah. <laughs> See, one, one of the reasons, I haven't told him One of the reasons though. I have to tell you this is because you say living in, and I say surviving barely in. I, I just, uh, I also didn't want to tell you, but uh, okay. we have we another uh, Westward Ho resident who appears to be in a meltdown. You know, this is what we call it when a bipolar a person seems to be going out of control, should I say? Uh, Wait a minute, it, this isn't about me, is it? No, it, oh. no. There's a, and other people in here Ooh. who are a little bit more uh, out of control than you are. Not too much, but out of control. And this person, uh, you'll be interested to hear uh, I was across the street about a month ago, I am and not, she, I am not she bipolar. offered me nuts, maybe, but not a bipolar. drink. Listen to this: a drink of vodka, at a, in a bottle, in a you paper bag, and I thought, it? "Oh my gosh, her on vodka! Oh dear, I don't know about this." Well, because we have discovered that people who are uh, what you would call, uh, oh, sort of really bipolar. They get on vodka, beer, any, anything like that, some other substance, mixing it with their, if they're on meds too. Uh, it, it, it tends to be a recipe for a meltdown if that person also gets upset and, uh, and I also heard that uh, she was washing her trach. Uh, trach, she has a trach, and that would be enough to me to drive anybody almost insane. And she can't speak. So, uh, to me, she has multiple issues. She needs to have something in this trach that would help her to speak. I don't know if her <clears throat> voice box is completely destroyed or what, but that... Uh, I think that would be one of the worst handicaps I've ever seen is to not be able to speak. But anyway, she's been washing uh, this wound. Uh, May I make a comment on that? In okay. the swimming pool. May and you know, that's not going to be very sanitary. She's supposed to have sterilized equipment to clean this with. And well, I know, let me know when I get turn, turn I know the other top, woman yeah, uh, who's, uh, I made a video of her with her trach and she 
could speak, she could put her finger here, and this was one of my most popular videos, so I'm very interested in what's going to happen to this woman, but I can't put her on a video, I couldn't, wouldn't put her on a video because she does <laughs> not speak. <laughs> She's... You know, here's the funny <laughs> thing about it, is that the thing I really like about you is you say things and you're not realizing what you're saying. Now, what you just said before was the worst thing that could possibly happen to me, you know, is if you can't speak. Well, that's true because your mouth is constantly going, and if you can't do that anymore, mm, that must be, be the worst me. thing that could happen he's to you. He's supposed to be helping me. He tells me that he's on my side and he is helping me. Now, do you really think it's helping me for him to make a remark like that? Your yes, mouth is, is always you. going. That sounds like a, Let me a, tell a, you a this. husband that's been married too long to that woman. And he's not even married to me and he's saying stuff like that. Uh, I think I should leave him alone a little bit more. Uh, see if he can't get over those negative husband-like remarks. <laughs> of, when was the last time you had a husband, a real husband? Oh, 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 there comes another one, another <laughs> one. Have you seen, have you seen that old bird that that ventriloquist has on, you know? I don't know what you're you, You're about. being to sound a lot like him. I don't even know what you're talking about. Your favorite v ventriloquist, Jen Denham, Dunham or Denham? And that old guy that's always snarling. Oh, the grumpy snarling. old man or something yeah, like that. grumpy old man. <laughs> well, don't you think that he and that grumpy old man are resemble? <laughs> I'm not going to shave my head just to look like that. For <laughs> <laughs> They're going to look at have any hair left at all. He probably gets some of his lines from him. He admires. <laughs> <laughs> Any guy makes oh. makes million bucks. I don't. You know, I never made a million. Well, how long have I been prattling then? You want me to shut up? No, you only get twelve minutes. You got another uh, uh, like oh, five another or ten. Two or three minutes. Okay. Yeah. But having not made a video for quite a while, I'm. Uh, I am. Keep get catching you up to date. Uh, we may be in the middle of another crisis in the Westward Ho with one of our residents going off her meds or mixing her meds with something uh, I, I, I thought this was dynamite. Be, dynamite. I thought this was supposed to be a commercial for, <laughs> for your dollar book. So, uh, and I'm, I'm also, uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm getting counseling. To buy 200 of them. I'm just getting so. counseling. I'm waiting for another appointment and uh, I feel pretty good. Oh! forgot to tell you, best of all, my son Raymond went to have an x-ray of his lung and there was, there was no sign of a tumor, which he had been told when he left the hospital after his hip surgery, he had signs of a tumor in his lung. Well, you can imagine when he told I me don't this know. You told over me it was a, a month spy. ago, I was like, and I, you know, that's why I had to seek counseling. And I've been worrying increasingly more until the day that he finally went and had another x-ray of his lung um, a month and a half later. Guess what? Uh, two months later. Guess what? And I thought by then, oh, I didn't know what would have happened. There was no sign of a tumor. And he'd been to... Healing services, he, uh, what? and he had gotten the metal out of his body. Uh, we don't know healing, all the reasons that he healing might Healing services? Yes, a shaman, a shaman in. Why do and when no, will I he, ever he has, learn not to ask questions? <laughs> Poor thing. Why do I ever <laughs> He doesn't understand people who believe in shamans. I believe in shamans. And so does my son, apparently. Enough? So that is, oh, that, that's the most wonderful news. So I'm not going to need the counseling. Near I don't. As, I just, near as bad as I was before. Before I was getting in, I thought I was getting an ulcer. I thought I was practically, you know, 
Uh, well, you thought you were what pregnant for happen? a while, or didn't you? And something like that? Because you don't want your kids, your kids, my son Raymond, I don't want your kids to get in worse trouble than you are with their health. Well, you're what? So he's 102 now looking a like little that? bit better. So I think with all this news, so much news that I can hardly even cover it all. Well, we never even got to anyway, California yet. California. Oh, well, we'll have to cover that. That's not a. But anyway, I'm feeling pretty good. In spite of that old grump over there. Bye.